two rack tractor. That's what people call luxury inner city four wheel drives that have never driven over anything bigger than a tram track. But what would happen if we took an actual tractor to two rack? I'm glad you asked. Most of Australia is rugged wilderness, untamed and primal, where a four-wheel drive is a necessary fact of life. But most of Australia isn't where most Australians live, and on city streets, a four-wheel drive can be an unnecessary pain in the ass. Now, this might sound a little extreme, but you know, you can't start a fashion without being noticed. <laughs> Going to jail. Look at that. Holy f. <laughs> 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 We're safe. What are you doing? Just shut the hell up. Be oh, good. cops, be good. For the love of Allah. Look what's behind us. There's like. <laughs> There's like 10 Ks. I'm doing my best. I've never driven a tractor through oh. traffic before. This is a Massey Ferguson tractor, and we're about to do to four-wheel drives what they've been doing to city drivers for years. Be bigger, clumsier, and in the way. So where are we now? This is Turak Road. This is... Turak. Yeah. So this so is Fashion Central. Between Chapel and here, you are fashion... fashionista city. Really? I've never bought any of my clothes from here. As our big wheels kept on turning and we charged towards our destination, I was amazed that no one was paying much attention to our approach. Look at that. I love the fact that we are literally we are towering over other SUVs. That's 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 grass. Now you'd be forgiven for thinking that the Rudd government is giving away free SUVs along with the baby bonus these days. But the closest a two-rack tractor will get to being off-road is double-parked in a median strip waiting for a piccolo latte. It says, go cats. Why cats? I had a cat once. Wow, what happened to your cat? It fell off. Of course. No, it did. It really did. It, poor old puss with a way to die. And then, he died on his bed, And a few days later, I couldn't find a found it. And it decayed some and his head fell off. Go cats. Oh. You have to stop and start all the time there, yeah, right? Yeah. I'm just going to pull in a park. In there? Yeah. Uh, that's a bit tight, was. It's not exactly it's little. Oh. You're about two metres from the curb, dude. You're going to have to get oh, you're closer. Now, we've all seen two rack tractors attempting to reverse park, but try it in a real one. Look at the shop fronts. Can you... Easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jesus. Dude, well, don't move it now. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Hang on. No! Oh. No way. Oh, that's not good. <sighs> Nothing to see here. We didn't hurt the tractor. Well... Not a mark on this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's good. Are you really That's surprised? Bad. We were drawing attention to ourselves, so we had to do something before too many others noticed. Like any civic minded citizens, we left a note. You're writing a note. I'm not writing a note. <laughs> that bumper looks alright now, doesn't it? Actually, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Give me this. Outstanding. Well, well, I have to say, this is a pretty decent little runabout.
You would. No, but it is the kind of thing that you could, you know, drop the kids off to daycare and go and have a piccolo latte down at the coffee shop. I suppose it's not that far removed from one of those things, is it? No, in all seriousness, I mean, this was a little bit of overkill for Turak Road, but so is that. I mean, you have to deal with pedestrians and traffic and trams and, of course, the problem of parking. Ah, Saab Gate. How can I forget? Yeah, there's still bits and pieces in the tyre at the back. But, <laughs> oh, look, I did the right thing. At least I, I drew a diagram and put it under the windscreen wiper. That's good. Yeah, with someone else's phone number. Hey, Charlie. <laughs> Thanks, boys. 